Welcome to Laser Scanning Europe TV. Today we want to show you how to align and position the workspace. The workspace is the project file that incorporates raw laser scanning data. Aligning and positioning the workspace actually parallel is important to be able to use the result with other CAD programs. We start by loading the layout plan, which is not yet aligned, into Google SketchUp. To do that, just use the point cap icon. As it was said before, the layout plan is not yet aligned. So we start by determining the angle of rotation to turn the workspace by the rotation angle. To do that, we use the tape measure tool. To start the tool, you just have to press T. Click down the axis of the coordinate system and with the mouse button pressed down, move the guidelines to the corner of the building. With a protractor activated, click the corner of the building and then determine direction 1 and 2. Now I start the Power Workspace, or rather Power Scout LT, to load the project. After that, I right click on the scan directory and click Properties. A window is opened. Here I click the tab transformation and in the transformation tab I add the rotation angle of Z which is minus 35 degrees. I click OK to confirm the angle and save the workspace. Afterwards I create a new layout plan with point cap. The creation of the layout plan is not part of this video. Having completed all steps I open the layout plan which is now aligned actually parallel. In the next step, I want to correct the displacement of X and Y by moving the corner of the building to the origin of the coordinate system. To do that, I use again the tape measure tool and create two guidelines by clicking the axis of the coordinate system and with the mouse button held down, move the guidelines to their position. Using the tape measure tool, I am able to determine the distance between the x-axis and the y-axis. 3.76 meters and 2.57 meters for the y-axis. Again, I use these values within the Faro workspace. I click the scan directory and click the tab transformation. You can see now that the angle is 325 degrees. This equals to 360 degrees minus 35 degrees. Now I enter the distance of the x value in the first tax field, but now of course in the opposite direction. The same is true for the y value. I click OK to confirm and I must now also save the workspace. Then I'm able to create a new layout plan with point cap and I can open it in Google SketchUp to check it. With the corner of the building at the origin of the coordinate system, we now have a neat and perfect layout plan. That way I can use the results in an efficient manner. At that point we have reached the end of our tutorial. We hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Bye.